guys this is your channel host Vignesh for channel fit mode tech and in today's video we are going to delete the i7-4790K processor so this is the processor guys which was bought in 2015 and uh, it's a 4 GHz processor base and uh, turbo boost is 4.4 GHz uh, and it is a 22 nanometer processor uh, which was uh, a 4 year old processor uh, so you can just see that I have overclocked it to 4.7 GHz which is non-stable and it's at 1.37 voltage where I overclocked it uh, and you can just see the base temperatures are 45 to 46 degrees Celsius so I am using a Corsair H100i liquid cooler and I have also done the IDA64 uh, benchmarking uh, where I am getting a 5% of thermal throttling uh, and this is the superposition which is a GPU based uh, test uh, even though there you can just see 2% of CPU usage uh, but you are getting 50 degrees Celsius uh. so because of these results we are going to do the deleting process uh, this is the Prematix uh, ultra black uh, gasket maker which is oil sealant uh, and this can handle up to 54 degrees Celsius to 260 degrees Celsius and it is one of the recommended one which you can buy it from Amazon and this is the thermal gristy conductor on which is bought uh, from AliExpress uh, it was uh, too less expensive in AliExpress so I have just put the link in the description box below and uh, this is the Lacme Absolute uh, Gel Stylist which is uh, used for applying it on the chipsets uh, to stop reacting with the thermal gristy conduct on and this is the deleting equipment which is bought from AliExpress uh, and this is the releading equipment uh, which is also bought from AliExpress uh, so all these products links are available in the description box below and this is the processor guys which is 4 years old uh, now I taken it from the motherboard and this is the deleting equipment uh, so I will take it from the cover and these are the parts which are given in the deleting equipment uh, now slide the processor inside the deleting equipment uh, and uh, you can just wait uh, and take the other part uh, and put it straight onto it uh, and now use the screw to tighten it out uh, there is a hinge on the other side uh, so it will just pop up the lid of the processor so now you need to set it at the hole and align it perfectly and now you need to tighten it with your hands and set your position on the processor and then take the tool and rotate it slowly on the clockwise direction when you feel the tightness uh, you just need to give little force on it uh, don't apply a large force on it because uh, it may scratch the processor chipset itself keep on doing it again apply, apply some force at one point uh, your hand may start slipping out uh, so at that point just stop I think it's now okay now you just need to slowly rotate in clockwise direction you are now separating the top and the bottom of the processor so now rotate in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction for few times so, to give a shaking moment in between the processor so now you have perfectly popped it out and you just need to rotate it in anti-clockwise direction to remove the second part and the screw and slide it out so now this is the lid of the processor it has been opened after 4 years guys the thermal paste has been uh, being hard and uh, some people may change this with a copper lid uh, which may reduce to 2 to 5 degrees uh, but I am not going I am going to use the same lid uh, and this is the processor you can just look at the condition of the processor after 4 years oh no ok let's change the thermal paste ok this is the isopropyl alcohol and um, this is available in Amazon itself I will just throw the link in the description box below and take some uh, amount of isopropyl alcohol in a cap 
and use the butts which we used to clean our ears and uh, clean it uh, clean the surfaces of lid and uh, wait for the thermal paste uh, to get removed totally so that it doesn't interfere with the liquid metal and you can just find two layers in it one is the solid thermal paste and the other one is the sealant uh, which they have used to do a gasket uh, between the processor and the lid uh, and now we have cleaned the bottom side of the lid uh, so we need to flip around uh, to clean the top side also okay now you can just find there are remaining thermal paste uh, from the cooler you just need to clean it also don't use the liquid metal on top of the lid uh, because it may react with the cooler which you use uh. so just try to use a uh, normal thermal grease uh, on top of the lid uh. so this is the top lid guys when it's clean now the important thing you which you need to notice that there is a gap in between uh, the applied silicon uh, gasket uh. so you can just find a small gap uh, which releases the heat don't forget the point where it is located uh. note that point and uh, start scraping the gasket off so i'm seeing it after 4 years okay and uh, you can just find the chipset inside is having uh, lots of remarks due to overheating uh, so now start scraping the sealant uh, slowly with your uh, nails uh, if you don't have nails use uh, soft credit cards uh, on the lid and but anyway you need to use your nails on the processor because uh, even the credit cards are too hard and harsh for the chipset so use your nails slowly it may take some time slowly scrape it off don't use any kind of uh, sharp objects on the microprocessor uh, you can use it on the lid uh, but not on the microprocessor now you need to just uh, clean the remarks of overheating from the chipset uh, so take some isopropyl alcohol and uh, start cleaning it clean it with the wet side and immediately shift it to the dry side so that you will get an even cleaning till it gets shiny so keep on doing the process and uh, after this we need to apply the liquid metal and this is how the process looks after we have cleaned it so next it's time to apply the gel so on the uh, micro process so the little transistors should not get shorted uh, due to electricity uh, so that we need to apply it uh, with this gel so this is brought from uh, amazon so just open it and take a small amount of it on the brush and use the vertical end uh, to just apply on it uh, so that it will not spread a lot turn the brush and you just need to apply it don't worry guys after that we can clean it it's not sensitive so we can clean it out it is just a insulator from the liquid metal which you are going to apply on the chipset itself so after that use the butts to clean the edges so that you will get a clean uh, surroundings it's easy to then uh, apply the permatex uh, silicon uh, sealant uh, it will not interfere with it so this is how it looks so now we it's time to apply the liquid metal so i'm going to just open the pack and this is the thermal crystal conduct non and this contains a few things let's see what's inside it and this is the package i bought this from aliexpress this is the main component which you need to use it to uh, uh, apply the liquid metal so it contains the, it's a syringe like structure which contains the liquid metal so we, they have also given some alcohol patch which contains the isopropyl thing to clean the processor uh, but we have done it and we are also getting some uh, special butts for it uh, and uh, this is the two types of syringe tips which you need to use it uh, but i basically want to use the syringe tip uh, so because it's uh, easy for uh, dropping a pin drop of liquid metal it should just be uh, like a bead okay let's see how my first uh, 
test is going to be because I am too anxious to apply it. So let's see. Before that, just clean off the chipset again to remove all the dust. And now on the clean chipset, apply a little pressure and uh, you can just uh, drop the liquid metal on it. I think applying it is too tough guys. Okay, let's make it, let's make it, let's do it. Oh, I can't do it guys. It's too sensitive. The syringe tip is too, too sensitive. So I'll take another direction and uh, try it out. I should not screw it out. Yes. Oh, shit. I screwed it up guys, but it's okay. Let's make it out. Uh, I can just uh, try to evenly spread it out and uh, take the liquid metal out of this uh, processor. But I'm trying it out with the butts. I think I could do it. Uh, I think I should use some uh, isopropyl alcohol so that it will slide off the liquid metal out. I think it will work. Yes, yes, yes. It's working guys. It's working. It's working. I can take a small amount of liquid metal out of this uh, so that I could evenly spread it out. It will not be an excess amount. You can also try to roll your uh, butts which they have given it. Uh, uh, so that you could easily take it out. Okay, now evenly try to spread it out. Uh, so the excess thing which you have taken it out by rolling it, you can just apply it on the lid. Uh, don't leave any blank spots because the uh, heat dissipation won't occur at that spot and it will start overheating. So try to spread it out evenly. So the pattern will be like uh, the liquid metal is floating on it uh, and again just to try to reapply some gel to cover the transistors and micro processor so that uh, it's also insulated uh, and uh, you can just see the lid uh, where I applied it uh, just align the processor next to next and you can just see the pattern how to apply it uh, don't worry guys it's easy and this is how it's applied on the processor and on the lid also and now we are uh, about to use this gasket maker to seal the edges uh, so first uh, take a small amount and use some knife or something like small like this uh, so that you could easily spread it out uh, in an even posture you should take a very tiny drop guys uh, don't use all the tube itself just take a tiny pattern and uh, spread it like uh, like this you should also take it in mind that uh, this should be too thin layered uh, and you should also leave a gap in the top uh, as I said in the first itself uh, to exit the heat out. So kindly note it out. And this is the relating tool and these are the parts given inside it. Uh, I just recommend this tool to align the processor with the lid. I don't recommend it too tight because I, I also had an issue in having a one core itself uh, increasing to 90 to 90 degrees Celsius and the other cores remaining at 87 degrees Celsius. So this is the uh, base of the relating equipment uh, and you just need to align the processor like this uh, according to the uh, arrow mark which is denoted in the base of the relating equipment uh, and also on the processor and place the top on it. Uh, now you just get a pattern how to place your lid so take time and place your lid on it and don't give pressure in the center guys i first made a mistake and after that rectified it apply equal pressures on the side only don't apply pressure in the center because the liquid metal may dissipate from the center part and you may get higher temperatures in single to two cores this is my safety precaution so that you will not face this issue again so after that remove the top part so now i will just show you why i recommend you to not use the screw like structure this uh, screw like structure applies pressure in the center part so don't use this and uh, anyway i will just show you how this re uh, relating tool uh, works so this is how you need to place it uh, and you need to apply pressure uh, my recommendation is that they could have uh, given a equal evenly spreading uh, 
pattern so that uh, the pressure will not be applied on the center part itself uh, so that uh, the liquid metal don't dissipate from the center because it has a tendency the lid has a tendency to bend on the center part so don't do that and uh, this is my post test uh, after doing doing the deleting process uh, now my minimum temperatures has have come to 37 degrees celsius from 48 degrees celsius it's a great uh, gain in temperature uh, so now now i am going to just do a cine bench test on my processor so this is how it looks like uh, and uh, this is the temperatures after completing the process uh, I have reached 75 degrees on all cores uh, and one core is at 89 degrees Celsius. Uh, so that happens in my process. I don't know why it happens. Uh, so next I will do the Premier Pro test. So this gives a constant heat on the processor like uh, IDA64 and Prime95. So I am going to render a video. So I will render a video in 4K. So let's do it. So previously if I render a video, my, my computer will show that uh, it has uh, just attained more overclock and it will show blue screens uh, but now doing exporting uh, it doesn't show because it doesn't hit any thermal throttling uh, so you can just see that uh, it raises up to 4.8 gigahertz from what I have had that is 4.7 gigahertz at 1.33 volts before it was 1.37 volts and the temperatures have not heated 100 degrees Celsius guys it's at 77 on two cores uh, and the remaining cores uh, are at 82 and 92 so it's a great improvement in my processor. So this is the even comparison. The first one is the before and the second one is the after completion of the 4K rendering process. Do follow the instructions uh, so it will be helpful for you. Thank you guys. And uh, I think that this video would have been helpful for you. And this is Vignesh signing off by saying live your passion.